Good morning, YouTube. It's Maggie Bot with vlog number three. And today I had just uh, the quickest and simplest little update. I just want to talk about Gen Con. Um, Gen Con is a convention out in Indianapolis. It's one of the biggest ones that I know of, other than uh, SN out in, out in Germany. Uh, so this will be my first year at Gen Con. Uh, I bought my badge, I was super excited, and eventually my work unit said that they're going to help me out with the tickets and everything so I can be there on official business, not just me. And I kind of knew that Gen Con was different. I know you don't stand in a bunch of lines, and I knew it was a bunch of like pre-signed up things. However, <laughs> no one told me, and several other people I'm sure, that in order to get into any events or panels or anything else, you have to buy tickets. Um, so this is done online. And for the really popular ones, you had to have been on the wish list. And then the wish list translated into first in line to buy tickets. So at this time, wait, June, I am signed up for exactly zero things. Um, I'm probably going to go through in the next few days and see what's still available, if I can sign up for stuff now and do that. Otherwise, so my main plan right now is just to wander around and play a couple of the games that are on my list, check things out of the library, which I'm assuming there's one, and you know, if I meet people that I know from online, that'd be great. I'll say hi. Um, the two games that I'm really looking forward to, if you don't count trying to find the Penny Press guys and get that, I, I'd very much like to try Penny Press, but I don't know that they're going to be there. I should ask them on Twitter. Um, Panamax, and now this is a game that I'm only excited about because of the excitement about it, and I know that it's a hype train right now, but a lot of people I really respect are looking forward to this one, so sometime today I'm going to watch a video for Panamax and see what it's all about. Rado does a run-through already, so that'll be a good one to kind of check out and see. And the one that I absolutely know that I want to play is Imperial Settlers. It's a portal game uh, from Ignacy Trzeciczek. I can't say that. He's a Polish designer. He helps run portal games and I just happen to have always been kind of a fan of what they do, but none of their games have been exactly what I wanted them to be. 51st State was so close to an amazing game that the fact that they're reskinning and kind of reshaping 51st State and then putting a new theme on it is fantastic for me. Maybe this will be their moment, maybe this will be when it takes off, because Portal Games is the only other title that they really have that did well is Naroshima Hex, and recently it's been under Z-Man's license, it's his friend Michael's design, so I just want, I just want to win for Ignacy. <laughs> so, uh, that was really my morning. I really appreciate all the comments and everything. I've been having a ball with this vlog so far. Uh, last night we played some Portobello Market. Uh, that was one of the games I got in that weird board game swap. Uh, ended up being just a really clever tactics area control game. So we played it with the young one. The young one dug it, but she wasn't feeling too well. And so we tried to play a two-player afterward. Not a two-player. So you're basically setting up market stalls and scoring them strategically as much as possible. And in two players, you're just constantly like hopping over each other and giving each other a point, and then they give you a point, and then I give them a point, and then he gave me a point. And it just ended up being this annoying tug of war where the first person to take like the the screw you action one. So um, very interesting game. Glad I got to play it. It will not live in my library long, but it's uh, it was all right. Tonight should be a game of Colon Colony. We've got a couple friends coming over, so this will be our second game. The first game doesn't really count in a game like Colon Colony. Uh, I always consider those to be the kind of warm up, make sure you get the rules right. And it turned out we did not get one rule right. When you consolidate your minds, it, it doesn't do what we thought it did. Um, so Colon Colony is a Spielworks game. It's German from, I think it's Thomas Spitzer. Spitzer. Um, but you basically, you, you control mines and railroads and you're going around and at a certain point it's kind of a timed game. So in the third and fifth rounds, all the mines you've been buying into consolidate into one big mine and you can bid on controlling the big mine. So it's like if Acquire had a bidding system, that's what this would be like. Uh, very, very interesting game. I cannot wait for my second play of it. So that should be a little later tonight. 
For now, though, it's time for a shower and to go to work and do all the work and then come back here and play games. So I will see you guys later. Bye.